Hello everybody, Tammy here and I'd like to share my latest project. It's a journal that I made um, to take up. It's for my own use and it's to take up uh, up north as we call it, um, where we go in the, the warmer months where I live. Um, so this is just going to be used up there when we have visitors, um, whenever we can start doing that again. And just to kind of document um, our times up there. So I um, just stamped and embossed with kind of a copper uh, embossing powder and it says the lake. And then I've got some, this isn't really sari, it's more like a chiffon type material that I've used uh, to tie it closed. And then I've got the corner protectors and then the paper collections. I used several throughout the journal and I'll try to remember. Um, I know Chow Bella, Sounds of Summer was one of them. Peon Designs, um, Legends of the Sea I think was another. And then I used some of my Tilda uh, and I think it's By the Seaside or something like that is the title use some tilde paper in here. So when we open it up, um, you'll also see I use several papers that I've bought in, um, from different crafty friends. And I think that's what makes this journal so special to me, um, is when I look at it, I'm going to see like pa papers from Maddie and Madison and Rosie. Um, this is a paper pack. I think I bought it from Selena. And um, there's several pieces of this paper pack. She did envelopes and paper all coffee dyed. So this is just an envelope. I've stamped on it and did some stenciling, um, put some of that old fashioned looking tape and just stamped uh, a little sentiment which says collect moments. And then I got this stamp from Sharon O in one of her day stash sales. So I just stamped some coffee dyed paper, made a little notebook, this is some tilde paper and some legends of the sea paper, and just made like a little notepad um, to stick in here. And I thought in this envelope I could put pictures, you know, ticket stubs, anything that I wanted to keep um, could go in here. So we start out, I'm, I believe this was the Chow Bella sounds of summer collection. So they have um, several pieces you can cut apart for ephemera and I thought this diary was the perfect perfect one to use here. And then um, the, the signature cover is Legends of the Sea by Peon Designs. Okay so we open it up. First of all I used my Stampin' Up! Whale Tail Punch um, to punch out my tabs. I have Absolutely love this punch. If you can find one, uh, you have to find them on eBay or, um, gosh, if you were lucky enough to find them like at a yard sale um, for really cheap, that would be great. But this, I am in love with it. It punches the tabs perfectly. Um, they line up perfectly. So I want to tell you a story about the beads um, that I've included in each little tab here. These beads were all from Broken Jewelry. Oh, am I? Am I not in frame? Oh, gee, I just realized that. These were all from Broken Jewelry from my great Aunt Rose's um, jewelry box. And when she passed away, um, you know, I, I got to go over to her house and some things were saved for me. And then there was several things in a pile to go to in the trash and uh, everything in the trash pile were special memories I had of her so I immediately took everything out of the trash and you know said you can't with this can't go in the trash um, and I shared several things with my sister who also had the same memories that I did she was our favorite great great aunt um, but these were, you know, pieces of broken jewelry. They were on pieces of broken jewelry. So I took them, and this was probably about, gosh, 
more than 10 years ago before I was into crafting and I didn't know why I felt the need to take these beads or any of the broken jewelry but I did I brought it home and I put it everything in a little pouch and I just stuck it in my jewelry box and kind of forgot about it until I started crafting and you know making charms and you know dangles and stuff like that and um, remembered I had these beads when I started doing this journal so I I really like how they look and they have such a special a special um, memory to me so she saved everything which I loved <laughs> she didn't throw anything away so I mean she wasn't a hoarder but you know pieces of broken beaded necklaces she felt the need to save them like we would because you never know what you can use them for right so uh, turning the page here this is a pocket that I bought from Sharon O and then I just embellished it a little bit with some tilde um, these are cut aparts uh, in that paper collection that I used and then here's some more little pieces and this and then some little shells that I thought well we'll stick them in here and can write notes on them or whatever but I love this packet that Sharon made so that and it, it already had the number four stamped on it and then here's some more tilde the, the cut aparts and then we get into the pretty dyed papers and this paper was I bought it from Maddie and Madison um, I have several different colors of this paper that they did throughout the journal. This paper, I believe, is from Rosie, and I love Rosie's Crafty Shack on YouTube. I loved um, using this in this journal because this kind of reminds me of like fishnet, although I know it's a big doily. It just looks like it could be, you know, fishnet. So, love that. And here's another piece. You can see the the netting way better. I think it would be cool to actually do some coffee or tea dyed paper with a fishnet laid over it. I might try that. Um, and then I've stamped on here, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. And that that is so true. I'm sure we've all realized that this year. And then here is one of those wax bags. And I've tucked a linen postcard um, actually from the place that we go up north. Tuck that in there. And then this is a die that I have. So I used the, the Legends of the Sea paper. And then I just stuck some ledger paper that I cut out with another die that I have. Stuck some of that in there. Let's see if I can get this closed <laughs> on camera and not rip it. Okay, it just kind of tucks like that all right and the border here is some of that legends of the sea paper and then I kept this um, area pretty well plain and I like how you can see the postcard through there <clears throat> the back of the postcard so here's some of Rosie's avocado dye paper and then here's <coughs> Maddie and Madison <coughs> excuse me I also had some envelopes from them that they dyed um, so I just stamp some starfishes on it and then put some little sentiments from the paper collection. I like this. You may say I'm a dreamer. One of my favorite songs. And then we have some Tilda. And I did the um, old looking tape with alcohol inks and I saw Johnny from Junk Journal Shop do that um, in her journal. So I tried it and I really like the look that it gives. Well, I tried to do some blue since this is a lake journal. I kind of like how that turned out. Here's some paper from Selena. I think she's Amor Fabriques on YouTube. And then just some little cut aparts from, this was from the Chow Bella collection. And then this is just one of those CD cases. It was white, uh, or CD envelopes. And I alcohol inked it up and did some stamping on it. I used my, one of my new Stamperia stamps. Oh my gosh. Stamperia, the high definition stamps are awesome. Love them. I got those from Maddie's latest sale. And then this is from the Legends of the Sea paper collection. 
flip it over I just put a piece of coffee dyed so sorry guys I keep realizing I'm getting out of frame uh, coffee dyed paper and then you know I figured I can tuck a, a few pictures in here if I want to cover that up I can or I can tuck something behind it you know secret space for some journaling Here's some paper from Maddie and Madison. You can see the colors. They all go so well in this beachy lake journal. And then here's some of uh, the paper from Selena. And then uh, this is some paper that I printed out. And the fish came from a catalog that I have of my favorite home decor items. This is from the Chow Bella collection. Here's some more paper that I had, um, digital paper that I had. I cut out a little fish, and this is my, these, both of these paper patterns are from the same catalog um, patterns that I love for home decor. And then here's the center of that signature. I used waxed thread. I don't love it. I don't love it at all. I like the thread that I use uh, normally. I don't think I'll use the wax thread in other journals. Um, this was sprayed with the Glimmer Mist uh, Sunlight Yellow, I think it was called. And then here's some more fishies I cut out of my catalog. I actually have some of these uh, fish platters. I love them. Oh, I noticed and I got a... Oh, you know what? I, I used this glue stick and I don't like it at all. I'm noticing, I think I've had to re-glue things like three times, and this is the newest thing I've noticed. These are coming off. So I'm, I'm searching for, um, I like the concept of the stick glue. So if you, I know Laura, Jersey Crafter, said she buys the Amazon brand. I need to get some of that. But if you have one, you know, another brand that you really, really love, please tell me. Uh, because I am not impressed with this at all. I'm not sure if it's the glossy paper that it's having a hard time sticking to or what, but don't like it. Okay, here's my little vent for the day. <laughs> here's some more Selena paper. Here's some more Maddie and Madison. Well, it's the other sides of the paper you just saw. Selena, the envelope. I stamped it. Uh, enjoy the little thing. And then here's some of that old looking tape that I did with alcohol inks. And you just buy the glossy scotch tape. I found it on Amazon. Um, I like that look the best. And I think that's what Johnny said to use, the glossy. Here's some more of the avocado dyed. Here's the back part of that craft bag, wax bag. And then inside that, I've um, written a poem that I like. Uh, on some old looking paper and the poem is I want to age like sea glass it's by Bernadette Knoll and if you get a chance google it um, it's a really nice poem and she wrote it for her sister who um, is deceased but her sister loved collecting beach glass so it's um, it's a beautiful poem some more coffee dyed paper I'm sure from Rosie some more of the Maddie and Madison paper. And I love, you know, I'm not sure what they put on here to get this look, but it looks, it just looks beachy to me. You know, it kind of looks like a chain, chains that I know where we go. Um, there's a big boat that they keep uh, docked there. And there's a chain that actually goes through the sand and the beach, you know, where they have it um, connected to something. I don't know what seems to be under the under all the sand but that reminded me of that then this is just a little tilde um, paper that I created a little kind of folio I finally got one of those Dymo label makers um, it's not a really really vintage one I think it's from the early 90s but it I found it on eBay and they're fun to use so I just you know did my little whatever you do move the dial and came up with the beach and then here's my first attempt at that jelly, what's it called? Jelly plating, jelly printing. Ooh, I, I need a lot more practice than that. You probably cannot see this because of the glare, but I use Sharon O stamp on it. Um, but I tried to use like beachy, you know, lake type paints. And um, 
they use the Prima paints, but that jelly plating or printing, whatever you call it, that's harder than it looks. I need to practice a lot more. I love like Sharon's jelly prints. Oh my gosh. Sharon O. I think she's so vintage. What is she? Vintage Chronicles. I love watching her channel. She has great sales and um, her jelly prints are beautiful. Well, this is just a little envelope. I think I used blue parchment paper. Then I used some alcohol inks on this little fish dye that I cut out. And then I just stuck a tiny little piece of coffee dyed paper in here. Kind of like, you know, for a secret note. And then tucks in there. Here's the back of the first signature. Here's the front of the second signature. And some of these, I think this came from the Chow Bella Sounds of Summer. You know, there's voice that doesn't use words. Listen, when I think of that, I think of the lake and the waves up north. Um, that's the most relaxing feeling you can have is just sitting in front of a big lake and listening to the waves, in my opinion. Okay, this is, uh, what are these called? Glassine bag with a napkin decoupaged. And I've been using, instead of Mod Podge, I've been using Gel Matte Medium, um, the Golden brand. And is it Golden? Yeah, Golden. And I really like it. It's not, there's no stickiness. It takes a lot longer to dry than the Mod Podge. But for the long haul, I, I think I'm going to like using that in my journals. Um, it's real durable. And I like how it feels. So this postcard, actually, this kind of has a funny little story. So Keisha was selling um, a bunch of postcards one night, not long ago, but super cheap. And she ended up like in selling them in packs. And I can't remember like how many packs we got, maybe 30 postcards for, I can't even remember. It was cheap. Well, I got this yucca plant postcard. And I put a little piece of that tape on it. You can see. Um, because we have a yucca plant uh, where we go up north. And we've been going up there for six years now. This yucca plant has never bloomed until this year. So I wrote on here, first bloom, July of 2020. So a neat thing that's happened this year is our yucca plant bloomed up north. So I thought that when I saw the postcard, I couldn't believe it in my, you know, it was just a random collection of postcards. That's perfect for my journal. So then here's some, uh, I think this is just washi tape with the old tape put on top of it, just to give it some sort of, you know, I left it really plain, so I felt like I had to do some sort of decorating. <laughs> and then this, you probably can't see what it says. It says sunrise, and I covered it with tape because I didn't like the, it was too bright, um, and I wanted this journal to stay kind of vintagey looking. But where we go, it's called the sunrise side of the state. So I thought sunrise needs to go in here. And some more coffee dyed paper. Here's some more of the avocado dyed. Pull my book back. Some more of the rosy paper. Rosy. I'm sure this is rosy. Then here's some Tilda. And this is just one of those little vintage um, I love the color, the blue file folder dividers. I got this from Sharon O, um, a stack of them. And then I just put the name of the, the uh, town that we stay at. Here's some Maddie and Madison paper. See how the colors are all like, you know, the blues, the yellows, the greens, pinks are perfect, I think. Here's some more of the Selena. There's just some blue parchment. There's a center signature. Yeah, I, and it might be how I tied my knot. Um, the wax thread, I'm just not, not loving it. It's my first time using it in a journal, so. There's some more Selena. This is, this is avocado dyed, and I think this, or it might not be avocado dyed. I think I ordered some paper from Christy Biddleson a long time ago. This might be hers. Yeah. Okay, some more Maddie and Madison. I had a postcard with a sailboat. It's just 
decided to stick it on here in uh, the words unwind because when we see sailboats go by up north we feel like they are unwinding they're probably so relaxed and having fun which is how we feel when we're there so there's, this is cute it's got the flower isn't that cute because i think you can see it yeah. so as you can see it's really really blank which i wanted because i want to fill this up with memories and notes about what we do who we see etc what we eat <laughs> food is a big thing up there uh, what we drink you know all, all that um vacation -y stuff so here's some tilda postcards you know my little tilda girl used her as a tuck spot so I, I liked mixing and matching all of the paper collections. There's the back of the second signature. Here's the front of the third signature. I should have said there's only three signatures in here. And you know what? I didn't count the pages. If I had to guess, I'd say there's probably like, mm, I don't even know. I should count them. I can't even guess. I just didn't keep track. Um, Chow Bella paper collection. More little pieces of that old tape old tape that's new <laughs> and then my bead this is my favorite bead from my aunt rose and a tab you know, we already talked about the tabs okay now this this is kind of an interesting little piece right here this came out of that um oh it's chow bella i think it's called the sicilian or sicily collection i should I should have had all my paper collections out so I would be telling you the right names. But I, I loved that. So I just used that kind of as a little tuck spat. But um, I ordered one of the dotting kits from Christy Biddleson. She's Meta Studios on YouTube. And this was my very first attempt at dotting. And I did it on a glassine bag, which probably wasn't the best thing to do because <laughs> as I was dotting, um, the bag was lifting up each time so they're not really circular um, my paint I just opened the little jars of paint and just started dipping in with my tools didn't stir I learned a lot so but you know what this was my first attempt so I'm going to keep it in the journal and uh, my idea was to use beachy colors so that's what I did and these are just some little cut aparts from the Chow Bella collection so yeah uh, dotting if you haven't tried it it's really relaxing um, it's hard you know I'm gonna have to do have a lot of practice this was my second attempt and I decided I'm not doing a whole circle I'm just going to do you know what is this a quarter of a circle on a tag so again I used my beachy colors <clears throat> This went a little bit better being on some cardstock, um, you know, craft paper. Um, I think my circles are a little bit better here, not, not so wonky. I think I stirred the paint for this one too. Okay, and then I just wrote on lake time, relax. And that's what we always say when we're up north, we're on lake time. Then the back is just a piece of old ledger paper and then a piece of the ephemera in one of the paper kits be a mermaid and make waves. I think that's in the Legends of the Sea paper collection. So, and then here's just a little embossed starfish. I stamped and embossed. And then you can kind of, I like that. You can see the back of it. I'm like, that's perfect. Here's an envelope from Maddie and Madison and they're dyed papers. And then I had in my stamps uh, the stamp of a sailboat. So I included that. And there's some of the old looking tape and in the envelope you can tuck anything you want to I figured pictures whatever uh, this is more Maddie and Madison paper here's a fish that I stamped and embossed he's like a metallic green okay and then he shows through too I like that so more papers. Oh, and then I, I liked them so much in green, I did them again in copper. <laughs> I realized I didn't have a lot of stamps for, you know, nautical, um, lake, beachy. So I 
I used the same ones over and over. But you know, I'm good with it because this is for me. So I actually decorated it a little bit more than I thought I would. Okay, this was fun to do. I recreated a dock with um, this paper and I just cut each plank out and then distressed around the edges. And then there's little silver dots that resemble the nails. Um, but and then I can tuck something in there. That's probably the favorite, my favorite part of this book. And that was this was kind of an afterthought. I did it. Um, I thought the journal was finished, and I decided to add that. So and then here's just some washi tape with that old my old looking tape on top of it, just to add interest. And oh, this I love. These little green clips I got from Lucy Dragoon on YouTube. Her name's Elizabeth. Um, we did a swap, and she included several of these, so I love it. So I used the old tape. I embossed some starfish, kind of a pearly white. Here's a little tilde shell with a Lucy clip. Okay, Maddie and Madison paper, Rosie, this is Tilda, some old postcards, these are actually from where we go up north, here's the lighthouse, and here's a great picture of the shore. These are vintage, so um, the lighthouse obviously still looks like that, um, the lake has risen a whole bunch, so lots of places there's no beach. Um, we have a little bit of a beach. This was actually sent to somebody in Detroit. I, thought, I love getting postcards where they were sent to somebody. And this person was on vacation. It says they were just taking a short two-day jaunt up here, staying north of East Tawas. Nice place. Weather's cool, but clear and sunny. So that's neat. All right, that's the end of the third six and then the back cover um, some more vintage postcards this is a German scrap it's just a little boat with flowers I think I got this from Maddie and Madison then I used one of those old um, old green vintage green like hanging file folders I cut that up did my stamp um, so I could sign it even though it's for me I still did that <laughs> Here's a cute little playing card. I think I got this from Sharon O, one of her sales. And then these uh, vintage postcards. Um, this reminds me of camping with my grandparents. That looks like that could be their trailer <laughs> with the awning and the little lights strung around it, those lawn chairs. They were right on the beach. Um, and this is the city park up um, in the town that we go to. So it's still there. It's still a campground. Looks a lot different now. And then there's the beach to the city park a long, long time ago. Th these were probably, they don't have a year, but gosh, I would say probably 60s. I think that probably would have been maybe early 70s. Yeah. So that is that. Um, yeah. This paper, I think this paper was uh, 49 in market. I should have said that. The, in, the, the covers, the inside covers and the outside were 49 in market. Um, yeah. And then this is just kind of a clothy um, blue uh, material that I had. I wanted to hide my signatures because they they, with that wax linen, they just didn't look good to me, so I had hit them. Um, and I think this is a Tim Holtz, forgot to say that, the frame, it's metal. And then there's um, eyelets, metal eyelets. So that is the journal. And then I do have some pieces of beach glass that I've collected from uh, where we go. I tucked them in here with Oh, and I've got some Petoskey stones, and I'm going to try, which these need to be polished. You can't really tell what they look like without being wet or polished. But my pieces of beach glass, it's getting harder and harder to find it up there. 
Um, I actually got a Dremel tool and I'm going to attempt to drill some holes. I'll do it in a piece that I don't really like first to make sure it works. But I'm going to make a hanging charm uh, for the side of the journal with these. And so this is my favorite color. It's like a light, light blue, aqua blue. Um, I think that's the only blue I have. Yeah. Anyways, so that's a project. Um, and I will use one of those. I bought some neat ones from Maddie and Madison. You know, it's a brad, and then it has like the the round um, door knocker thing on it. So I'll just use, you know, and I have chain and stuff. I'll make a, a tassel for it. So thank you for watching. I realize I keep getting out of frame. So sorry. Um, I have my next video will be a haul from Maddie and Madison, which will be up um, after this video post. So. And then I'm going to start on an Alice in Wonderland journal for my little great niece who had a birthday party, small, immediate family only party, but her theme was Alice in Wonderland and I did all the decorations, not all of them, several. Um, my niece did a fantastic job decorating, but um, I'm going to make her a memory book to put all her cards and stuff in. So that's my next step next project I'm going to be working on so when it's finished I'll share it with you but thanks for watching I hope everybody is taking care and until next time bye bye